The symptoms and side effects of heart disease can vary between males and females. In this video, we'll refer to the two groups as women and men, respectively. So how do men and women's hearts differ? Women generally have smaller hearts than men and a higher BPM, heartbeats per minute. The average male heart rate is 70 to 72 beats per minute, while the average female heart rate is 78 to 82 beats per minute. Women also have less blood volume, which means fewer red blood cells to carry oxygen to the body's organs. But how does that translate? A smaller heart that beats faster and carries fewer red blood cells needs to work harder to pump enough blood to meet the body's demands for oxygen and nutrients. The next big biological difference is hormonal. Women have higher levels of estrogen for most of their lives, while men have higher levels of testosterone. Estrogen has a protective effect on the heart until women hit menopause. While testosterone's effect on the heart is less well understood, it seems to have an overall negative impact. This is thought to be the reason why women have a decreased risk of heart disease right up until menopause. After menopause, when the estrogen levels drop, the risk of heart disease in women is similar to men. This also applies to women who go through menopause earlier in life. For both sexes, 30 minutes a day, five days a week of moderate intensity exercise is recommended to keep your heart healthy. For women, pregnancy is another time when risk factors for cardiovascular disease can develop. Gestational diabetes and hypertension, as well as preeclampsia, can increase a woman's risk of cardiovascular disease later on in life. Maintaining a healthy weight prior to and during pregnancy, as well as staying as active as possible, can help decrease these risks. Next, let's get into the different heart attack symptoms in men and women. Both sexes can experience shortness of breath, muscle weakness, shoulder or jaw pain, nausea, sweating, and of course, chest pain. Both men and women most commonly describe their chest pain as a pressure, tightness, or crushing sensation in the mid-chest. But there are some differences between men and women. While chest pain typically occurs with physical exertion in men, in women, chest pain is often brought on following mental stress. And sometimes, women's symptoms are more generalized, like extreme fatigue, fainting, dizziness, or indigestion. Also, women are more likely than men to present without any chest pain at all. Finally, it's much more common for younger women to have an unrecognized heart attack than men. Because of these atypical presentations and symptoms, it can be more difficult to diagnose heart disease in women. And women are sometimes dismissed as having stress or anxiety, especially when their symptoms are not typical. Because of this, female diagnoses and care get delayed. While the general perception in the medical world is that men are more likely to get heart disease, the CDC reports that each year in the United States, roughly an equal number of men and women pass away because of heart complications. It is important for both men and women to have routine physicals and blood work starting at a young age to make sure their cholesterol is in check, avoid smoking, eat a healthy diet, and maintain a normal BMI. Physical activity is also recommended throughout life. Hopefully, if you're a female or have a female loved one struggling with unexplained chest or abdominal pain, fatigue, or other atypical symptoms of heart disease, this video will help you advocate for yourself or for her.